Now, how often do I say Spider-Man should let the police handle crime? At least six times a day, and that's on my day off. And for once, that is exactly what happened. When Officer Jefferson Davis stopped a truck full of armed criminals from mowing down innocent bystanders. What about Spider-Man, you ask? Where was the city's self-styled champion? Oh, he's the one who started this chain. Alicia's keeping busy, but I'm catching up. Let's see where she hit this time. Another cat. Cornelius Van Lunt's place. She's hitting places full of one-of-a-kind valuables. She must be working for someone. Otherwise, why not just steal cash? Good, Spidey. Don't worry about it. Before I hit my goal, I'll give it all back and go straight. My future's in your hands, Spider. Alicia's close to her goal. I've got to put an end to this, and fast. This area is full of Wall Street guys. Target-rich environment. Found you. She's obviously familiar with these places. And that gives me an idea how to catch her.
robbing an armor. Gentlemen, that is not how an ATM works. That's not even an ATM. the demons stay out there, the more lives they put at risk. I need to stop them. Through it. I'm taking those vacation days for sure now. Felicia's leading me on a chase, but that's what's gonna help me find her. Am I feeding all the past locations into an algorithm? I can narrow down her likely point of origin. Bam. I was too late to stop her here, but one or two more locations should give me enough data to pinpoint her hideout. Felicia's close to her goal, and I've still got way too big an area to search. Gotta narrow it down. Every data point helps. Who she robbed, where they live. I think Lonesome Pinky lives here. Stealing from a country singer. She's getting creative. But I'm getting closer. One more ought to do it. simple, but really important. 
It measures toxins in the air, way more sensitive than anything the city has. Bad air hits children and the elderly first. This was a big one for my mom. If his data is accurate, there's way too much sulfur dioxide in the air. I have a spidey hunch this is caused by inefficient engine exhaust. If I get some fresh samples, I can identify the make and model and report them. Like we have three guilty parties. I'll need to get pictures of them for proof. Taking pictures, just like the old bugle day. One down. That's a keeper. Courtesy of your Earth-friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. This is one of Mom's earliest projects. We were trying to develop a bacteria that would dissolve all the plastic in the oceans. But we, um, well, she ran out of time. Like, if you have any ideas, it would really mean a lot. Hmm. With some genetic tweaking, I might be able to crack it. But I need a better equipped lab. And the bacteria only lives in liquid environments. Wait, my web fluid. I can keep the bacteria alive in my web cartridge. Yes, you should have the chemicals I need to increase its power.
Oh man, the bacteria dissolved my web. It's in the cartridge for the webs I swing from. The other kind should be okay. Now I have to get to ESU without swinging from anything. Whew, the zipline webs seem fine. Where's that way? Well, I'm getting a heck of a workout. Gotta hustle. I don't know how long this bacteria stays viable. This is good practice for if my web shooters ever malfunction. Okay. By law, they have to dispose of their chemicals in these containers. Should be some stuff I can use. All set. Now I have to get to Dr. Octavius' lab to combine everything. I'd just take the subway, but the bacteria won't survive that long. Okay, now I just need to grab the bonding agent. controller for the micro cables Doc's been theorizing. These things are awesome. So much more versatile. Simple AI that'll improve the prosthetic's functionality over time. Welcome to the future.
prosthetic has a tiny brain. Cool. Doc dove right in with the intracranial interface. Revolutionary, but not a hundred percent stable. We need to refine this design. And now the industrial centrifuge that'll get the bacteria out of my web fluid so I can store it properly. Just need to isolate the bacteria. I think I improved the bacteria, but I can only tell for sure back at Harry's research station. Should have my web swinging back. Let's see. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, sweet web swinging. I'll never take you for granted again. I hope this works. I remember when Harry's mom started the project. It meant so much to them both. Where there's a web, there's a way.
There's the testing receptacle. Full of plastic. Let's see what happens. It's working. Not as fast as I'd hoped, but better than before. Probably needs further testing. Didn't get all the plastic, but it's a big step forward. Enough for Oscorp to keep working on it. They'd win the Nobel Prize. And it wouldn't hurt their stock price either. there's a glitch in the system that's causing interference. And if I don't fix it, it'll bring the whole network down. Right now it's only affecting the most sensitive equipment, like mine. I need to stay outside the areas of interference while I fix the cell towers. There. I set my lenses to show me the danger zones. Gotta fix the cell towers before the whole city's comms go down. The size of the problem area fluctuates. I need to be ready for a sudden change. I'll need to fix three more to solve the problem. Bet I can use those helicopters to swing. So much depends on cellular networks now. A crash would affect police, hospitals. It'd be as bad as a blackout. Gotta hurry. Soon the whole system's gonna go. Job's only halfway done. Oh man, I wish there was a way to fix this for everyone except people who use their phones in movie theaters. The problem's getting worse. I'm running out of time. Invisible walls closing in. Got that one fixed. Bought me some time, but I can't slow down. Can't waste a second. Getting to be a tight squeeze. Okay, let's not do that again. can share their domestic disputes on the subway again. And emergency services are safe, which is, you know, also important. If the network had crashed, it would have cost Oscorp a bundle to fix their comms. They'll want to keep this station up and running. Harry's project should be safe.
One more location should give me the data I need to find Black Cat. By my rough estimate, she's got about 49 million in loot. I reach her before she gets to 50 and she might go straight. Hello, Cat. Oh man, that's the gallery where they keep the Jade Tiger. That's worth a cool million. I've got to run my algorithm and find Felicia, quick. Found her hideout. Gotta get there before she leaves town. So, numerous witnesses saw Spider-Man swinging through Times Square like the glory hound he is, firing webs. An electronic bill. Hey, before you go, can you can you sign this for my kid? Hey, sounds corny, but uh, you're my hero. Seriously. Wouldn't be New York without a seedy drug deal.
Nothing puts a pep in my step like halting an illegal drug deal. Police are coming, so I'm going. slowing down. What are they trying to accomplish? Spider-Man was providing a public Pardon service, me. plugging leaks in water towers. Let me tell you why this itsy bitsy brain spider was climbing this particular water spout, people. Because he tampered with the water pressure system. He was seen earlier messing with the vac- Freedom Tunnel. Before Feast started, this was a haven for New York's homeless. Mostly abandoned now. Good hiding spot. Must be a hidden entrance or something. Bingo. This looks like everything she stole. Financial data on the Magia crime families. Is she trying to blackmail them? What's this? Spider, you raced here to redeem me, didn't you? You're adorable. And cute, too. Which is why I made you something more... flattering. If you've got it, flaunt it. This couldn't all have just been a game, could it? Spider-Man, the black cat just robbed the police department's evidence lockup. What? How? That place is like Fort Knox. All those cats you found? When they were all together in the evidence room, they linked up, boosted their signal, and deactivated the alarms. No one even saw her sneak in. She knew I'd find the cats and report them to you. She played me, again. What'd she take? Just her old costume and gear. She let me find 50 million worth of loot just so she could get her stuff back. Which means she's got something even bigger planned. Wow. Gotta give her credit. She played you good. Are you smiling? 
You sound like you're smiling. I gotta go. <laughs> I can't believe I haven't slept since the Fisk takedown. Gotta start taking better care of myself. I never used to feel safe at the other shelter. Hope May's couch is comfortable. I can't take this. You can, and you will. I'll pay you back. Soon. Just ask for help next time. Oh, you are so much like Ben. You have to learn to swallow that Parker pride and accept that you're human. 
like the rest of us. Martin. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you know I'm headed out of town. You're in charge while I'm gone. Well, you can count on me. How long will you be away? Uh, I really don't know. Is everything okay? It's some personal business I've been planning for a while. But please take care of this place. It represents the best part of me. Well, I guess I better get busy. Oh, Mr. Lee's okay. Hello? Hey, did you see my story? I did. Robbie must be pretty happy right now. Yeah, it kind of went viral. And get this, Mayor Osborne just announced he's going to give Officer Davis an award this afternoon. Wow. Wait, isn't Osborne's campaign rally this after- Oh, I see what he's doing. Yeah, we all do. But still, a pretty cool moment for Officer Davis and his family. I'll be there covering it. Wanna join me? Yeah, of course. See you then. So humiliating taking money from May. I should head out into the city and try to pay it forward. Backup requested for a pursuit in progress. Location is Little Tokyo. Over. Another message from Doc. Peter, I don't want to jinx us, but the lead I'm following might not only get the project back on its feet, but also expand the Here's your stuff! These guys have an impressive social circle. Give that real man props. Manhattan rush hour is no joke. Hey, Jeff. 
Congrats on the ceremony today. I'll be glad when it's over. A truck full of armed demons scares me less than public speaking. But I'm calling about something else. What's up? Just got a tip that the demons are moving on the Fist construction site in Midtown. My wife would kill me if I ditched the ceremony prep to play cops and robbers, but I thought maybe my friendly neighborhood partner would want to know. Understood. I'll do a swing by, let you know what I find. And hey, here's a tip on public speaking. Just picture everyone in their underwear. Wait, not Osborne. You know what? Uh, never mind. <laughs> Howard, long time no see. How's Pidgey doing? He's a little down today. Misses his cousins. Been a bit of a whirlwind for both of us. Owners of my building, rezoned for commercial. We had to move into Feast to get our bearings. I'm so sorry. New York landlords can really be heartless. When they kicked me out of my place, they set all my birds loose. Pidgey's the only one who found me. I've been looking everywhere for the rest of them. But with my bad leg and all... You know what? I'd get around. How about I keep an eye out for him? You do that? Oh, thank you. If you have any luck, please give me a call. Good use. Okay, should finish listening to that message from Doc. Peter, I don't want to jinx us, but the lead I'm following might not only get the project back on its feet, but also expand it in ways we never could have imagined. Everything happens for a reason, even Norman pulling our plug. Really hope this works out. Doc's work is too important to go unfinished. It's all good, Spidey. Don't worry about it. Pigeon target acquired. Oh, no, there it goes!
There's a pigeon. Ah, gotta get him. Ah, oh, all this for little old me? It is my responsibility. Pigeon! Don't run! I won't hurt you! I hope nobody sees me doing this. There's a pigeon. Oh, come back, little birdie. It's all. 
all over the news. Another battle between Spider-Man and these demon mask gunmen threatening the lives of New Yorkers. I understand our next caller lives in the area. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, um, the thing is, it all happened in a shipyard that's supposed to you. There weren't any innocent people in danger. Oh, is that your expert opinion? Well, let me tell you what I've learned from sources I developed in my award-winning journalism career. That shipyard was a front for Wilson Fisk. He's been using it to smuggle guns, grenades, military-grade ordnance. Oh, that explains a lot. Ah, the truth bomb strikes. But wait, here's a 50-megaton payload of fact. While Spider-Man tried to grab the glory for himself, chasing one truck. Another vehicle got away with an arsenal of deadly, illegal weapons. This, for all his faults, would never have let them be used in this city. These demons? Either they're some kind of fanatical cult, or they just don't care. Anybody feel like they're in danger now? All units, police are engaged in an active shootout with demons. Available officers report to Turtle Bay. Over. That shootout's gonna get someone killed. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, 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 Real talk, guys. The destroy New York stick is getting old. Love New York. Demons, though. It seems like they just want to tear the city down. Nothing like a mass menace to bring people together. Ha! <laughs> pigeon! Ah! Get him! Pigeon knows the city better than I do. There's a pigeon! Don't fly away, please!
down, buddy. Can you, can you stop?